What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the NHL GM Mode Commentary Series with the Seattle Kraken right here on the Armchair GM's Sports Network, your source for North American sports coverage by sports fans, for sports fans. And we are here at the beginning of the 2024-2025 season with the Seattle Kraken, the NHL's 32nd team. If you guys missed all the other videos, go check them out. They are live on the channel right now. Make sure you're hitting the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave me down your comments down below. Thank you to all who have been leaving their comments. I'm taking all of them into consideration here. And I've seen a couple of them uh, from the last video to do with uh, coaching and uh, our defensive chemistry, which we can't seem to get over the 3 one hump, uh, which I'll show you guys in a sec here. But uh, as for the forward core, I mean, I think we have a pretty good forward core going into this season. Uh, with the top six line of getting plus threes, even our our plus three on the uh, line four. This also helps, too, with uh, injuries. If injuries do happen, a lot of people in this bottom six can be moved up into the top six. And uh, as for uh, depth players, I think we have a couple scratched. Yeah, we have Delandria scratched and Bukestad with uh, Alexandrov. Now, Bukestad... I was thinking about putting in, but uh, there's really no one I could get scratched here unless we decide to move on from Sorelli. Uh, we can always move Kyle Olsen into there because that makes it a plus three, and then we can finally insert Bukestad. But we have some depth uh, for injuries as well, and we have a pretty solid forward core. Now, as for the defensive core, um, actually, what I want to do was send uh, Alexander F down to the minors because I can't uh, let him sit there and rot. <laughs> so we have Spedberg and Hickey on that first line making a plus three. I think these two are going to benefit from playing with each other. I really hope so. We have Sanderson and Howe, who we acquired in the last videos you've seen. So our, our, our defensive core of the future is set right here in the, in the four in the fourth slot. These are our defensemen of the future, what we're going to build our team around, especially Hickey and Spedberg. But uh, the additions of Howe and Sanderson do really help this team. Except only does it a plus one, and this is even after a defensive and offensive defenseman slot. Uh, so I'm really confused as to, as to what we have to do here. Like even if I move them down, it's not like it's a, it's a line placement. We're still getting the same chemistry. Like if I move uh, both these guys up to the first line, um, we're still gonna get a plus one. We actually lose the plus three in chemistry. Hickey and Svedberg work better on that line with the chemistry. So I took uh, some of your guys' advice in the comments, and I'll show you guys in a sec. Um, and then we have Fox and Chariot to even out that bottom pair. And then I've done fixed all the power play lines and all that stuff already. Our HL squad, this is what we got. Uh, I tweaked it just a little bit, not too much, but uh, this is what our uh, our AHL squad looks like. We have Staples and Brody here, our two defensive prospects. Staples, I mean, him being a two-way is expandable, so I hope he just grows enough to see if he does fit somewhere in our lineup eventually, if he does. If not, we can definitely uh, move on from him. And then we have Caden Brody that for sure would because he is a offensive defenseman. So I'm hoping for some growth out of him, especially with a plus three chemistry down there uh, in the AHL. As for goalie wise, we're gonna keep an eye on. Uh, I have to. I did sign a AHL goalie. He hasn't signed the team yet, but I did fix that. Um, shoot. Okay, gotta go with the NHL. Uh, Kobe Wellwood, 81 overall, finally jumped up to the backup goalie role and in a, our high elite goalie. Uh, he's sure to grow along with the season. He has a very good athletic stats. I do want his uh, his uh, puck control and reflexes to go up a little bit more, but him as a backup goalie should do that. And we have Eric Comrie for one more year. Uh, hopefully he can still be the our top goalie going forward, and we'll see what to do with Wellwood. I've actually contemplated thinking about maybe trading Wellwood for a top goalie, but I kind of want to grow this kid. We put a lot of stock into him, and what how awesome would it be to get a third round goalie, a high elite third round goalie, to be a top goalie in the NHL for our team? I think that would be pretty sweet. So. I'm hoping for some big things out of our team this year. Uh, one thing I noticed when one of you guys put in the last one is uh, Francesco P Francesco Pinelli. He was a medium top six when we drafted him. Now he is a high top six. So playing on that first line last year uh, has really helped him potential-wise. So we have a lot of potential in this kid to keep growing. So I expect Pinelli to grow a lot this season and maybe uh, officially transition into our number one center. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on the lineup as the season goes with simulation. Now... What I did was I went and fixed a coaching thing. I did not fire a head coach, but I went and found a another coach that we can move into the head coach slot if it, if uh, stuff doesn't work. So I moved Matroski down to the uh, AHL just to keep not uh, just keeping him on the team as I didn't really fire him. But uh, we have uh, Anton's is the guy I went and looked for. Labamir Anton's. Um, I believe was it him or was it Myers? No, it was Anton's, and it was because uh, you can't see it here, but. Uh, his player chemistry worked a lot with our defense. He was a very, very, I know it's listed as a, as a forward 
heavy coach, but uh, he he his chemistry worked a lot with our defense and it shot it up. So I think if he was transitioning to a head coaching role, that would really help our uh, defense and it still rounded out our offense, him being forward minded. So I think this guy could be another head coach if we ever decide to move on from Linden. So I kept him as an assistant coach. Um, so uh, anything else we have to do? I'm trying to think. No, uh, I've, don't, I think I'm pretty sure I've done everything else. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've, I think I've done everything else. So let's just sim it to the regular season. Actually, going to sim a couple days here to get that AHL goalie, and I'll insert him in the lineup. So we don't have a 56 overall uh, AHL backup goalie. There he is. Yeah, Vyacheslav Gogolev. What a name. But he'll be rocking that AHL backup slot. So let's just go in there and put it in. All righty. AHL goalies. No, I want to go to AHL. There we go. Sorry, Sheldon Griffith. Move aside for Gogolev. Wit and Gogolev rocking that AHL uh, goalie tandem. I imagine our AHL team will do good. It looks like they've been doing good every year, so I imagine they're they're fine. So let's just sim it to the regular season. I imagine we're probably going to get a trade offer. Yep, right on cue. So I'll, we'll fix this. Just clear all this. I mean, I only mean, I hate how the, the trading block just gets automatically updated. I wish it wouldn't. It would only get updated if I went in and did it. Because a lot of the times they put stuff that the team really doesn't need. It's just what the, the computer thinks the team needs, and that's not what I'm trying to do here. So here we go. Let's simulate. Let's get to the regular season and start our simulation. Hopefully, I'm praying to God that we have a really good season here. Um, <laughs> if we saw last year, guys, we missed the videos. Uh, we mi we made the playoffs barely, very like very much barely last year, and. Uh, we ended up getting swept by St. Louis. So I'm not looking for our same result. I'm looking for a better result, especially with the team that we have in front of us. So I'm expecting big things. My 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 expectations are really high for this year. So let's keep going here. And here we go. So let's get into the season simulation. Look at that. Right off the bat, a double header to uh, start, the, start the season. Back to uh, Nashville and the New York Islanders. So we'll see what happens with that. So let's sim, I'd say... One, two, let's go two, let's go two months at a time here. We'll sim to December 1st and see what our team looks like. So here we go. Come on, boys. Let's have a big season here. Come on. Expectations are high here. Ooh, we start off one and one. Okay, not bad. Let's 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 continue. Come on. Let's uh, okay, so a shootout win. So our first uh, shootout of the season it ends up being a W. Okay, central scouting is good there. And then I had second one, a shootout loss to the uh, Chicago Blackhawks. All right, then an OT win. Is going to give us an OT loss? Oh, a regular loss. All right, so not too bad. Uh, oh, there's two big losses there. That's not good. All right, let's bounce back from that. Come on. It's early on this season. It's easy to bounce back this early on. Come on, there's a W. Come on, beat the Oilers. Come on, let's go. Beat them, beat them. Oh, my God, a 4-3 loss. Oof, a really rocky start here for the Seattle Kraken. Come on, boys. We're, we're, we're pretty uh, – pretty, just win loss, win loss, win loss. Right? I love to break out of that. So Tacoma has an injured player. Um, I'm gonna head coach replace that player. It's fine. All right, there's two wins there. Come on, boys, let's continue that win streak. Uh, fuck. I think I just. <laughs> hopefully YouTube doesn't monetize that part. <laughs> uh, I apologize for my language there. Um, yeah. So let's take Turkov out and put. Uh, is it Jacobs? Yeah, Jacobs back in. There we go. All right. Let's go back to simulation here. Come on, boys. We had two wins there. Let's get... Th yeah, there we go. Four wins in a row. Five wins in a row. Let's go, boys. Come on. Let's turn around. Big November month here. Big November. We need some Ws. There we go. There's another one. Come on. Let's go. I'm expecting some big things here, boys. Come on. Let's go. Get some Ws. Pile them on. There's a loss to Florida. Got to bounce back with a win. Oh, God. Two straight losses. Come on. Three straight. So we're going to win four straight. We're going to lose four straight. Oh, my God. What an inconsistent start. There's five straight. Oh, my God. <laughs> and another oh, AHL player injured. Let's automatically replace him. All right. That's good. And a win. So 12, 11, and 1. Not exactly the best start. Uh, it seems to me like we're very inconsistent. Looks like Tarasenko leading the way 24 goals in 24 games. Or 24 points <laughs> in 24 games. 
Uh, let's see how the rest of the team is doing here. So let's go by forwards. So Tarasenko, Landeskog, and Sarai. So our second line leading the way. Our first line with Yarncroc is there. Uh, but uh, Jones looks like he's struggling a little bit. Only 13 points and a minus two. It looks like our, our first line is in the negatives. Um, where is Pinelli, too? Uh, yeah, Pinelli is only 11 points. So our first line struggling. So it looks like we might have to make a change on our first line a little bit to boost them up. But uh, look at four's back of Carlson still. <laughs> the guy still takes shots, and he's still bearing on that third line. So 10 goals for him. Good for him. Um, as for defensemen, it looks like Svedberg and Sanderson are rocking. How and Hickey. Okay, so defensemen not doing too bad. Uh, how about the goalie situation? So well with 3-0. He's had three starts. Look at that save percentage and goals against average. Oh, oh this guy might transition into our starting role. While the season goes on, that's uh, no, it's only uh, uh, th uh, three games there, but wow, okay, okay, Colby, okay, you're showing up, you're showing up, but uh, I think we just make a, a small change here, boys. We just uh, fix that first line. We need uh, we need to get that first line going. So what should we do? I'm not gonna touch the second line, so they're fine how they are. Hmm. Force Maca going in there doesn't do much. I think Mercer does it. Mercer makes it a plus three, but I don't want to. I don't want to send Yarncroc down to the third line. Yeah, I know he's struggling, so we'll keep Mercer there. Maybe it's the the Brown thing that I tried there. Uh, I I said in the last video. So what if we move Logan Brown to line one and we move Jones here, and then we have Mercer, Force Maca, and Jones on line three. So how about that? Um, I don't think moving anyone up does anything here. No. No. Okay, so we'll keep... I think our fourth line is doing great. I mean, our fourth line is doing awesome right now, so we're going to keep them together. So, yeah. So, we'll make that change with the third and the first line. So, we move Brown up to the wing, and we'll have Force Backup play center with Max Jones and Dawson Mercer on the third line. So, hopefully that does something. Don't need to make any other changes. Let's see if that boosts that first line and gets the team going here. So, we'll simulate... Oof. Big test to start off December with a 17 and 7 San Jose Sharks. That's what I hope to be to one day. Uh, so, and they're in our, our division too. So, that's going to be a, a tough matchup. So, let's sim up to, I uh, believe this would be February 1st against Pittsburgh. So, here we go, boys. Come on. Let's have a big month of December here. Let's go. In a big contest against the San Jose Sharks. And Morgan Geeky is ready to come back. I forget. It was the, uh, was the defenseman. Is Geeky a defenseman? Was he a center? Yeah, he's a center. Let's put uh, Geeky back there. All right. And a big 7-3 win against that San Jose team. All right, boys. All right, I like that. Looks like that lineup change sparked a big win against San Jose. So let's continue that momentum. Here we go. Carolina has a loss. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's get a W. There we go. Let's get more W's and L's. I want to see more W's and L's this month. There's a big 5-2 win, a big shootout win against Philly right after. Okay, so we're building some momentum here. Uh, and then... <laughs> oh, no. The injury bug has returned. And in a big one, too. A big bite. Air Comrie injured until March 6th. He is going to be injured for the next three months with an MCL sprain. Oh, no. And I have to call somebody up. Yikes. All right, boys. This is going to take a little bit to, to figure this out. I'll be right back here. All right, guys. We're back. And I thought that would take longer than I than it did, but it didn't. Uh, let me just take give you guys a rundown of what's going to happen. So in the AHL, Gogolev is going to start. We had to bring out that Sheldon Griffith guy uh, to be a backup. Uh, Gogolev, the guy we just signed this year. But our, AH, our NHL, this, this, this is going to be interesting to see here because uh, Colby Wellwood, He's played seven games for us as a backup, five wins, uh, 917 save percentage, and 230 goals against average. He's our, our, our third round pick that we took in 2021 highly. So this is going to be a test to see how he does as a starting goalie. Uh, as our backup, we brought up Desmond Witt. If you remember, we drafted him in the third round as well. So I think we took two goalies, I believe, that year. 76 and 91, two goalies. One became a, uh, uh, one was a, a, a uh, what's he, what? Here we go. He's a medium fringe starter, um, and he rocked our AHL squad for the last couple of years. And you see, look at that play puck playing frequency of 99. That's a crazy stat to see on a goalie. But uh, 
what, nevertheless, he's 75 overall. I don't know if this is going to hurt our uh, simulation. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but we'll have to keep an eye on. I want to see how well it does. So if we look at his stats now, going into this 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 three month stretch here, he was five one and zero oh, with seven games. So we'll have to remember that nine seventeen and two thirty eight. So uh, actually, I'm going to make a, a note here for myself so I don't forget. Um, so he was five and one and he had a 0.917 with a 2.38 goals against average. So we'll keep an eye on that and see how he does, uh, from there. So there we go, guys, <laughs> let's get right back into the simulation here. I'm, uh, I'm sort of scared here, but we'll see how it works. Here we go back into the simulation. All right. So the first game OT win. So Colby's first win there, uh, uh as a starting goalie. And then we got a win right back. So it looks like. Uh, team's uh, rocking around this uh, this big injury, and look at this. We're winning big time, boys. That's six straight wins, seven straight wins. Here we go. Oh, and the streak's broken by the Coyotes. And a Tacoma player's injured again, so we're going to head coach replace that player. That's okay. Another loss to Chicago. Uh, we got a big week off here. Tacoma player's ready to come back. That's okay. Let's just continue. Um, the Ducks game here at the end of the month. Uh, big win there. St. Louis Blues, who go swept us last year, and we lose 5-2. So they, they have our number, the St. Louis Blues. Uh, there's a win and a loss there. It's a little bit more of an inconsistent. Uh, it's like we go on a big win streak, and then we have we go right back to the inconsistent-ness uh, of, of the simulation. So we're a very up-and-down team like this. Like, look at this. We have three straight losses, then we get a win. And then, uh, watch, we'll probably lose against Montreal. A 7-6 OT win. Uh, okay, so there's another W. Like, see, here we go. So we're going to go on this little streak here, and we're going like, to lose three or four games. So, like, we well, there's one, two, three, four, f four wins, and we'll probably lose three. So let's see what happens here. So lost to Tampa Bay, and we shoot out win against uh, Vancouver. So really, we're, we're pretty even in uh, the shootout and overtime category, it looks like. Uh, Vancouver firing their coach. Uh, let's continue here. I lost to Buffalo and Florida to end the month off to February 1st. And a 6 nothing loss to the Florida Panthers. Yikes. So we are 27-20-2. We are in second place, though. It's good enough for second place. Uh, we are about uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Tied for fifth in the uh, Western Conference. That's not bad. So I mean, second. But look at look how many teams are, are close in uh, close in on us. Like from the Oilers, Ducks, Sharks, and Kings. Everyone's uh, within uh, uh, reaching range, and we're only two points behind uh, the Golden Knights for first place. So not bad. I'd like to be better. But uh, let's take a look at how the team's doing. So uh, start with the forwards. Tarasenko still leading the way with 46 points, 24 goals, 22 assists. That's great. Landeskog up there and Yarncroc actually getting back up there from struggling on that first line. So he's benefiting on the third line. Uh, same with Max Jones. So uh, who do we move up there? We moved Logan Brown up there. So he really hasn't been doing much, but it looks like he's maybe... Uh, I don't know what's going on. I mean, so the second line is still... Yeah, so the second line is Tarasenko and Landeskog. And Sorelli, and then Jones is on the third line. So Yarncroc's actually on the first line. What am I talking about? <laughs> so Yarncroc is uh, benefiting from having Logan Brown, I think, because Logan Brown looks like he's getting more assists. So he's helping Yarncroc score and and, and and rounding out that line. Now that's interesting. Pinelli with 23 points. I'd love for him to be a little bit better, but he is growing. He's up to an 83. So uh, let's hold off a little bit on him. Mercer with 23 points and. So on and so forth. Or it looks like our fourth line still doing good down there as well. Um, defenseman, Svedberg with 35 points. 88 overall now. This kid's a stud. Uh, Howe with 15. Fox with 13. And Sanderson with 12. So it looks like Sanderson and Howe are in the negatives, though. They're negative 4, negative 11. Looks like they don't work well together. Um, Hickey, Chariot... What if we switched, uh, is Chariot a defense defenseman? I don't want to put Sanderson down that far. Or maybe we switch Fox and Howe together. Maybe we switch them. Looks like Sanderson's the one that's struggling more. So maybe we switch Sanderson and Chariot. And, uh, we, we give that a try. But as for goalies, let's take a look. Wellwood, 9-9. Nine, nine. Yikes. So, but Wit, our, our AHL guy coming in with 6-0. and oh. 
Oh, man, but Wellwood struggling hard as a starting goalie, though. Yikes, that is uh, not good. But, uh, man, Desmond Witt coming out of nowhere. How does he 6 and oh, that's, that's crazy. Um, my God. So, yikes. Losing Comrie did hurt us a little bit, but uh, looks like we're going to have to roll on. We can't really do anything more. Um, oh, boy. Oh, boy. And we're coming up to the trade deadline here. So, this is going to be interesting to see what we, what we can do. Maybe there will be one player that we could uh, trade for, like a rental. Uh, but Pinelli is growing. I don't want to do anything there. Looks like the first line is okay. And the second line is, is flux. It's just, it's just flux. <laughs> I can't even think of the word. They're just flourishing being together. Uh, I don't, I can't really move anyone up in that first line. Like no one else makes it a, a plus three. No. Does force back up there. Make it a plus three. No. Mercer doesn't do anything. I think Mercer replaced with Yarncrux and makes it a plus three. But we're not putting Yarncrux down on the, the third line here. Um, but Logan Brown, I think we're going to keep them together. Uh, him and it looks like maybe we switch out with Pinelli with someone, but uh, no one else makes it a plus three. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I mean, this is Teres. I don't really want to trade Teresenko because he's leading our team, but it is his contract year. Um, I don't know. Do we move on from a guy like Yarncroc? Maybe he's eight point five for three more years, so maybe it's time we move on from him now. He's thirty three. Maybe it's, it is the perfect time. Maybe we we trade Yarncroc for someone on that first line. We look for for a, another sniper. Is he a sniper? Yeah. Or we move Mercer up there if we can't find anybody and we try him. And Jones, how many years does he have left? Maybe we move on from Jones or we keep him. Jones really hasn't been doing bad, so we can keep him. And the other guys are just rental guys. Sefshikov, is he a sniper? He is a sniper. What does he do on line one? So even Sefshikov, we can move up there if we don't want to move Mercer up there yet. So I think we move on from Yarncroft if we can't find anybody. Or it, we move on from Yarncroft for sure, but uh, for this one, let's move on. Let's move uh, Chariot into line two. See if that does anything. Okay, so let's uh, see what we can do with Yarncroft. I think let's uh, find a an another sniper to to replace him. So let's go to player search. Let's go to positions. Forward, uh, first line. Let's try first line is first. Uh, first line sniper between the ages of 18 and no one too old. Let's put age max of 30 and we'll try three and a half stars first. So here we go. What is it going to give us? Okay, so all these like top trade value guys we're not going to be able to get. So let's go down to something more reasonable and there's not. So the burn cat's like the only like one that's close to being close to reasonable. And he's making 8.9. It's a lot of investment to put in this guy. But he doesn't even fit on line one. <laughs> it fits on line four. Um, there's no way I'm going to be able to get any of these other guys. Even if one fits on line one. We got two guys fitting the top six. Leonard Elliott. No, we're not going to be able to get this guy. A high elite guy. And Jake Gensel. First line guy. Like No, we're not going to be able to get them. Uh, yeah, there's Sefshikov. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get any of these guys. Um, so how about we look for a second line forward sniper and see if they fit in the first line. So let's search for them. So do second. All right, so we got a little bit more, uh, a little bit more reasonable stuff down here. So let's start uh, with Stranges. And we'll go down here, see if anyone fits on line one or top six. Three, four... Nobody. There's one, I think there's one guy fit in line two, but we're not looking to move on from line two. And that was Pavel Buknevich. So no one there. Ugh. So let's try the one down from it. Let's go with line three. Let's try this. A lot of more reasonable guys here. Let's see. Anybody fit on line one? Potential line one here, and Andre Burakovsky. He'd be very nice and cheap, but uh, 
Is he even a good replacement for... He's not even playing right now. <laughs> I could scout him for a couple of weeks. Well, let me just let me just scout him. See what happens. Complete. All right. We'll put a pin on him. No one else really fit there. Oh boy. Uh, let me just try fourth line. See if that does anything. I highly doubt it. There's a few. A couple of guys playing in the AHL. Yeah, nobody. Got a potential line to a Dow Cole, but. All right, so maybe not a sniper. Uh, trying to remember. So Pinelli was a playmaker. We had a power forward. Kind of need a sniper to be on that left side to, to, to benefit from line chemistry. So it really looks like there's no one out there in the player search. So what we can do is uh, go into the trading, uh, the trading blocks and see what teams have up there. So let's just quickly run through them. Uh, skater matching block. All right, sort by overall, and let's go down the list here. Any forwards, a couple of centermen, Brad Marshan. <laughs> uh, does he fit? I'm curious, he's a two way, but no, it doesn't fit. Fits on line four. That would have been funny. Uh, okay, let's move down. Ooh, we got a couple of forwards here. Elias Lindholm, four years at 7.1 playmaker. Nope, does not fit with this scheme. Uh, Bjorkstrand does not fit with the scheme. Oh, baby, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to find someone. Oh, <laughs> Ryan Johansson, line one. But I think that's uh, if we replaced him with Pinelli. Um, God, that would be a crazy uh, rental player right there with Ryan Johansson. Um, but then he's he's in need of a contract, and I'm not ready to commit. If he was younger, maybe. Uh, any anyone else? Uh, Jankowski. No. Okay, so we'll move on from Calgary. Ooh, we got a Ford here and Oscar Lindbaum. Ford line two. Okay. I think I have an eye on Slavin from last year. I think I have to take those off. I uh, got Victor Arvidsson from the uh, Chicago Blackhawks. Does not fit the scheme. A lot of players, a lot of snipers don't fit the scheme. Keep going down the list here. Might be Burkowski. What? Watch it be Burkowski, and he makes it still a plus three, and he ends up being the sniper we need. Because if not, I'm just gonna keep Yarncrock, and we'll roll with the punches. Josh Hosang. I know he's a he's a playmaker. So no, Jean Gabriel Pajot. No, Zabanichad. That would be sweet, but he's a two way. Uh, Gusev. He's a playmaker. Islanders, keep going here. Almost through all the teams. No, no, no. The Leafs, no. Ooh, a lot of players here. So I think Buknevich was one of them. But he fits on line two. Hmm. But I bet if we could work people around, we could get him to fit on, on line one with a chemistry. But we'd have to invest in four years in this guy at 7.2. Which I think is a little bit too much. And he's not he's not scoring goals on the on the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh Tuck, he's a power forward, fits on line one. That would be the replacement for Logan Brown. Ooh, and he's only four point six for two years. Ooh, and if we're able to move Brown down, maybe this guy could at, maybe this guy could be the guy that uh that helps this line. Cause I know Brown has kind of been helping Yarn Croc, but uh we gotta think about the future with Yarn Croc. Oh, boy, I wouldn't be trading this guy for Yarn Crocs. But Alex Tuck. Alex Tuck. Maybe we make um, a trade for him. Oh, too bad Riley Smith didn't, didn't go. I would trade for both of those guys. Nygaard. No. Oh, Alex Tuck is tempting, boys. Alex Tuck is tempting. Because if we move Logan Brown back down to line... Uh, we, we So, basically, it, let me just work this out. So, if we went for Alex Tuck, we wouldn't be trading Yarn Croc. Uh, we move Logan Brown back to line one, and we have to trade a guy like because uh, line one right now is is uh, Logan Brown's uh, Pinelli and uh, Yarncroc. So if we move Brown down, we move Jones back up. So it would be Jones that would have to go. So we're looking at a guy like yeah, this guy, uh, 
looking at a guy like Alex Tuck to replace Jones. So he'd be the cheaper contract. He's better overall. I mean, Jones has the better. So he's got 14 goals and 16 assists. What's Tuck got? 16 goals and 11 assists. Looks like Tuck scores goals more than Jones. Oh, man. They're almost like the same player. So 26, 28. So the Jones is the younger player. So we only be paying him 5.5 till he's 31. I really don't want to move on from Jones. He hasn't been that bad for us. He takes away more and he gives away too. What's Alex Tuck about? Alex Tuck's history. Uh, gives away. He gives the puck away more and he or he takes away a lot a lot more and he gives away too. So again, these guys are pretty even. God. If I look at Alex Tuck, what's he got for defensive awareness? 86. Jones, 85. Oh, man. Do I pull the trigger on Alex Tuck? Jones is doing is putting up like 30 points on the third line. I can't really complain about that. So you know what? I'm not going to go through this trade. You know what? Uh, Jones isn't the problem. We don't need to replace. Logan Brown's even doing well up there, so I'm not going to do anything about that. Um, Dmitry Orlov, new. No. Nobody. So, yeah, there's nobody available right now for us to go and trade for. Uh, so, we're, you know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, um, you know, skip two weeks and go see what our scout found in Burakovsky. And then after that, if we can't find anything with him, then we're just going to roll with our team, boys, and roll with the team that we've built. So let me go for two weeks. So that would be one, two. So about here. So here we go. Let's sim these games in two weeks. Hopefully we get a lot of Ws. We get a lot of Ws. And, of course, injury bug comes back to bite us again when we need to do something. And Colby Hickey injured lacerated arm. So he won't be back until the wow. And if eh, April 27th, oh, my God, another big injury. Oh, God. Man, oh, man. That injury bug just won't leave this team. Okay, so we need a defense defenseman up there. Um, Howe doesn't do anything. Wait, how is an offensive defenseman? What am I doing? Chariot, it's a plus one. Sanderson, plus one. Okay, so we'll put Sanderson and Spedberg together. We will put... Uh, uh, Howe and Chariot together, and then we'll put Fox and Alexandra, who I totally forgot about. Oh boy! So we'll have to get him playing. Yeah, meet him, elite guy. He needs this guy needs to start playing. Um, we'll put him down here with Fox. So our decor getting a big hit there, folks. Let me just make sure it didn't mess anything up. Uh, see anywhere else where Alexandra did fill in here? So. Uh, we got a zero chemistry with that, so let's do that and set it to a minus three. Minus one. Okay, so that's good enough. And that's good there. Uh, four and four wise. Um, so we're going to put Svedberg and uh, Sanderson together. I think it was Sanderson, right? Yeah, Sanderson. Then it was Fox and Chariot. Or Sharat, however you want to say it. And then Howe and uh, Alexandrov. Put those guys together for the four and four lines. Three on three. Um, Svedberg here, Sanderson there. And we'll put uh, Fox here. There we go. So that works out like that. All right. Shootout. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So. Now that's all done. God, this hurts. Do we go in and get a rental defenseman now? I think we might have to go and get a rental defenseman. Some guy, a uh, offensive, I think, rental defenseman or defensive. Uh, one or the other to, to help us out here. I think we might have to go and do that. So let's just... Uh, actually, let's get to that two-week line. And then we can go from there. So let's sim through these games. This may or may not hurt us. We'll see what the chemistry does with those changes. So uh, two wins and a loss there. So two and one. Two one and one. Go Washington. Two two and one. 
All right. Three, one, and three, two, and one. And with the Sharks, that makes it a... There's a trade. Oh, Nashville getting Kopitar and then Kadri going to the, the Los Angeles Kings. Uh, and then four, two, and one. So not bad. Four, two, and one. We're 31, 22, and three. So not bad. I still would like a little bit of a boost. So let's... Uh, this might, video might be longer than I thought it was going to be. So let's go to our uh, player search watch list and see what we've got. Uh, okay. Let me just take a look here. Watch list. Yeah, watch list. All right. Um, Burkowski. I'll see where it, uh, what uh, the scout came up with. And for sure he fits on line one. So you know why? I think we trade for Burkowski and see how we... Uh, actually, you know what? I think we need to trade for a defenseman more. I think Yarncroft's doing fine. I think we wait until the offseason to deal with him. But uh, we keep Burkowski there on our watch list. So... Uh, Slavin, Gerard, or Pesci, I think we, we go for. And uh, are any of them on a one-year contract? So either Slavin or Pesci. So I think they're both defensive defensemen. One's a two-way, uh, but he fits on all defensive pairings. I think we go for a guy like Slavin or over a Pesci. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for... Uh, actually, Pesci fits well on line two. Line one is not the problem. And it'd be nice and cheap. You know what? Let's... Uh, but Slavin, man, he's got the better stats. Hmm. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Defensive awareness, 89, 88, 89. 86, 88, 88. Uh, offensive awareness. You know, I think we go with Slavin, a, a good two-way guy. Let's see if we can get Slavin. If it's too much, then we'll go for Pesci. So, I already got a rental player, so I'm going to have to be going back. Um, let's see what we can give them. Uh, Bukestad, we can try to give them Delandria, maybe. You know, I don't think Delandria is playing. Is he? No, he's not playing. And I think we can move on from him. He's 79 overall. He's only 24. He's not really getting the time that uh, we can give him. So, you know what? We'll put Delandria in there. I do want Bukestad more. So, maybe... Actually, you know what? Maybe not Delandria. Let's put Bukestad in there. Because I want Bukestad. Um, let's uh, see what else we can give them. Gonna hang on to Baldwin. Oh, this guy jumped up big time. He was a 70 overall. Woo! Who is this guy? Two-way. He's slow as dirt, though. Oh, my God. Oh, man. That, that could be a good trading asset. We'll, we'll, we'll wait on that. Uh, Lambert. You know what? Let's move on from this guy. Uh, right wingers. No. Defensemen. Any defensemen we can send back? Staples, maybe. Um, because we have our, our core already. So maybe it's the time we move on from Staples. So we'll add Staples to it, and they want them. What's that look like so far? This might go through. So we'll give them a new Nick Bukestad, uh, a prospect, and a, an AHL prospect for Jacob Slavin. Does that go through? All right, trade accepted. So we got Jacob Slavin as our rental player because of a big injury to Colby Hickey. So let's uh, edit lines here. God, I got to make sure I turn off my friends list thing. Totally forgot about those. Uh, so AHL will have to fix that. Um, I don't want to give up that plus three chemistry. So let's uh, move someone else up there. There we go. And so I'm going to play with Pouliot. A defensive defenseman. It should work. There we go. All right. That's for the NHL. We'll put in our new guy. And we'll replace uh, Ben Chariot maybe. All right. What's Chariot been doing? He's actually not been doing bad. So maybe we play, replace Alexandrov. Alexandrov's been a plus three, though. You know what? We, we need to play Alexandrov to meet him elite. Uh, so we'll replace uh, Howe with uh, Slavin. So here we go. Slavin, we got a plus three here. Okay, so we got a plus three with Svedberg. And we got a plus three with Alexandrov and Svedberg. But I like Slavin together with uh, Svedberg. There we go. Sanderson and Howe together. I really wanted to split that up. Uh, so maybe we put Howe down with, with Sanderson there with Fox. So Fox, Sanderson, Alexander of Howe, Svedberg, and Slavin. All right, so let's go with that. Uh, let's see if that's messed up uh, with anything else-wise, other line-wise. Uh, Slavin's nowhere here. Maybe Slavin can go in somewhere, maybe, for Mercer. Does that work? Still plus one. Can't make it a plus three anywhere. If we put Howe up here. No, okay. So that's fine, still being a plus one. Uh, let's go to other power plays here. No, we're good there. Doesn't look like I messed up anything there. I didn't mess up here. 
Mm, is there anyone we can put besides Slavin? Is that and Sanderson? Uh, da, 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 da. maybe like uh, there's a Mercer fit there. Oh boy. Uh, Fox maybe. Oh God, yeah. This is uh, this ruin our. Uh, oh, there's a there's something. Sorelli does not fit there. With a guy like Kyle Olson. Olson's already on line one. Nelly maybe. Sorelli. Or Sorelli was already there. So Logan Brown. It says it fits. If we move some of the defense around, we get at least uh, help with the negative. All right, you know what? That's fine. Uh, three man penalty kill. That's okay. Uh, extras. I think we're okay. Spider Sanderson, Slavin, Fox, How Alexandrov, good. Three on three. Uh, okay, that's good. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we're all good with that. All right, so we picked up our rental defenseman in Jacob Slavin. So here we go, boys. Well, you've had some two crucial injuries, but uh, I think we've done well replacing them. So let's just see how the uh, rest of the season goes. I don't think we need to pick up anyone else for the deadline. There really wasn't much out there. That fit our team, so let's just sim right to the end of the season. Go right past the deadline. So here we go. We look like we're in a, we're in a good spot here. If we can continue winning and, and and continue this momentum, we can definitely make the playoffs this year. So let's go, boys. Come on. Let's uh, let's not have a collapse or monumental collapse here. Let's go. There's a, it's a loss to start off. That's not good, but then we bounce back with a win. All right. I, I like if we bounce back more than we do losing streaks. Okay, so we had uh, uh, a Tacoma guy, so that's good. We'll replace him. Come on, boys. Come on. More W's and L's. I want to see more W's and L's. There we go. Three W's in a row. Let's go. Continue the momentum. Come on. There we go. Four in a row. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Get another W here before the deadline. W. And we got a trade alert. So, Kadri. Wait, did Kadri go right back to Los Angeles? Or is he from another team? <laughs> what the heck was that? I'll have to go back and see that. Uh, Carolina Hurricanes fire their coach. Come on. Big win against Mini before the trade deadline. Come on. Big win. Big win. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Ah, there's a win. All right, let's go. Come on, continue the W train. W trains are going. What the? What is Nashville in in LA doing? Isn't that this the third time they've done this trade? What is going on? Oh man, this game, man! I swear to God, the bugs in this game are hilarious, and that's a big one right there. Okay, I thought we were gonna get Kadri and <laughs> and Kopitar traded again. Uh, Eric Carmi's ready to come back. Okay, so. Uh, Actually, let's just continue for a few days. Get him fully healed. All right, let's go. Let's go. I just want to sim a few more days here. And Marcus Johansson goes down until March 31st. That's great. So, end to the end of the month. Uh, so, let's just replace the fourth line guy with... Uh, what do you have? A depth centerman? Delandria. There we go. Delandria. All right. That's fine. And let's continue here. All right, so let's stop the simulation there because we're getting Comrie back. So 38, 24, and 3. Ooh, big decision here with Air Comrie. Let's, uh, let's go take a look at what we're looking at here with Air Comrie, boys. Uh, let's go. Goalies. What do we got? Ooh, 18, 12, and 2. So he, he picked up his wins. And Dalton Witt, man. Dalton Witt, 8, one, oh, eight, one, eight and 1 as a backup goalie. What a solid backup he is, man. I should just keep this guy up next year and get rid of Comrie. We'll have Witt and Wellwood. <sighs> I, I really, uh, we are, we're riding a big momentum train here. I really don't want to bring <laughs> Comrie back here. No, I'm making the executive decision, guys. I'm making it right now, and we are not bringing back Comrie. We're going to ride this momentum train. Look at that, 38-24-3. We're winning more, and we're losing with the, the, with the, the team we have now. I don't want to screw anything up. Uh, so let's keep going, boys. Let's go. Let's ride those momentum trains to the playoffs, and then maybe we'll bring back Comrie then. So here we go. Come on. Let's go. Against Chicago. There you go. There's a shootout win. Come on. Get us to 40. Get us to 40. Get us to 40. 
Yes, there we go. 40 wins. The big 40 wins, guys. Let's go. Continue. Look at this win train. Look at the executive decision coming into play here. There's a loss, but that's okay. We're, we're winning more than we're losing. The most important part. There you go. 43, 25, and 3. Let's go, boys. Look at this end of the season. Oh, baby. The Kraken. And Jacob Saboro. Is he still 28? Bad. Is he defensive? It's two way. No, he's a two way. That's fine. Decline. Someone else can take him. Uh, there's a big 7 4 win. Look at that. 45 25 and 4. Look at this end of the season, boys. Marcus Hansen, you're going to wait, bud. You're going to wait till the playoffs to come back. Let's go. Let's ride those momentum. 5 0 win against LA. 96 points in first place. There's a big win against Tampa. Come on, arch rivals. 6 2 win against the arch rivals. And <laughs> look at this, boys. A 4 1. Come on. End the season strong. Oof. We've lost to Florida. Win against Pittsburgh. Win against Vegas. Oh, we lose. But look at that. We tie. Look, that Golden Knights game was actually important. Man, we could have finished in first if we had to won that game. But 50, 28, and 4. What a regular season, boys. That's what I'm talking about. We are back in playoff contender form and 82 points out of Vladimir Tarasenko going into his last year. Linus Gog with 76, Sorelli 71, Jan Kroc with 60, Fedberg 89 overall, 19 years old. This kid is going to be a monster with, oh, look at that, 60 points. That's Norris candidate talk right there. Uh, Logan Brown with 58 points, Jones 52, Pinelli 42 points, up to an 84, and it looks like Francesco Pinelli is going to be our center of the future, Dawson Mercer up to an 82, so much growth on this team, Olsen on the fourth line with 37 points, this kid might be the next replacement for Sorelli boys, for his back with 35, How and Slavin, there we go. All right. Oh, oh, baby. Let's take a look at defenseman here. Uh, it's Fedber. We've seen how with eight, uh, 28 points. Slavin, that's fine. Uh, Fox with 26. Sanderson with 23. And Colby Hickey, unfortunately, with that big injury, uh, still out. Uh, but goalie, look at Colby Wellwood, 26, 15, and 3. So finishing out strong, getting his save percentage to 900, three goals against average. And Dalton Whitman, 12 and 3, two shutouts. This guy's our backup next year. I'm calling him up. He's our backup next year. And then we'll have Colby Wellwood rocking as our starter, who is up to an 82. So uh, big, big year, boys, for the Seattle Kraken. Let's see uh, what our playoffs are looking like coming forward here. I believe we face the Ducks, it looks like, in round number one. So let me just see that uh, sim here. Yeah, we'll face the Anaheim Ducks in round number one at home. Let's go, boys. Thanks for watching today. Make sure you hit that like button. Leave me your comments down below, and I'll see you guys next time in the next video for the playoffs against the Anaheim Ducks. Take it easy.